So in a way, High Rise is another sort of dystopian society movie, but while this one is a lot less strange of a premise, the execution of this movie is probably a lot weirder than The Lobster. So High Rise is set in the 70s. I believe it is an adaptation to a novel. In High Rise you have these buildings, these huge buildings that are supposed to be apartment complexes for the upper class and several tiers of the middle class. This building is supposed to have all the modern conveniences for the apartment dwellers. A gym, there's a pool, there's a supermarket within the building. Basically the apartments have everything you need to live and the only time you actually have to leave the building pretty much is to go to work. So Tom Hiddleston plays our main character of sorts. There's a lot of characters that could technically be main characters. There's some that have a bigger role in the story than Tom Hiddleston. But Tom Hiddleston is the guy we focus on. He is the main character. He's this psychi... Psych I don't think he's a psychologist, but he's some sort of doctor. Actually, he might be psychologist. I can't remember. I know he del delves into the mind. He works with the mind. But anyway, the movie begins with the tower being completely chaotic, completely disastrous, and then we jump three months earlier when he becomes a resident of the apartment. And so we see the three months of how this apartment building becomes a fairly normal apartment building to a very chaotic, almost post-apocalyptic setting. We watch as the residents slowly become more dependent on the apartment building itself rather than leaving to go do other things. We watch as the building slowly loses power within time, and how everyone gets driven mad. And we watch as a class system develops and wars happen within the building, or battles at least. Basically everything eventually devolves into utter chaos. I will say this, I really had a fun time watching this movie. This might be a little too dark and crazy for some. It, it is a very twisted, very disturbing movie at times. With a lobster, I definitely laughed a lot throughout. This movie teeters over the edge of being super disturbing and serious to still being a dark comedy. This is the darker, more sadistic side of dark comedy. So much to the point where, for me, it didn't even feel like a dark comedy. It just felt like a seriously twisted, almost horror film at times. Because ultimately, it is a descent into madness for this entire apartment building as they're becoming dependent on the building and then the building crumbling within itself where it loses power and everyone, the whole society crumbles with that power. Now, I'm sure this movie has satire. It has social commentary just like Lobster and some very similar to Snowpiercer. I like a lot of the film techniques within this movie. It is a gorgeous movie to look at at times, and as the movie progresses, it becomes darker, the film becomes a little bit more, or the camera at least, becomes a little more chaotic and shaky, and even the editing style becomes more chaotic and dysfunctional. It does it purposely, but this could be a turnoff for most people. I definitely appreciate the film style of the movie, but at times I do feel it gets a little too chaotic for its own good. There are definitely times where things aren't quite explained all too well. So much so that it doesn't even do a good job of implying some things that happen. This is definitely one of those movies that can be very incoherent for some viewers, and you could come out of it thinking, I have no idea what just happened. This movie as well has a lot of pretty good stars and familiar faces within. We've got Tom Hiddleston, Jeremy Irons, Luke Evans, just to name a few. I thought everyone did a really good job in this movie. But not only does the film feel a little too chaotic at times, there are a few times where it feels like the shock value is just thrown in there just to be shock value. Yes, some of the shocking images does reflect on how chaotic everything has become, how society devolves within this apartment, but sometimes it feels a little off-putting and a little bit meaningless. But I do find this a very interesting movie, a very entertaining movie, disturbing and twisted as it may be. I still was entertained with the movie. Ultimately, I think I'm going to give High Rise four stars. 
So have you seen High Rise? What did you think about it? Go ahead and comment. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and check out my movie reviews of 2015 and 2016. As always, this is Bruce Gifford and this was just my opinion.